hey guys welcome to drupal learn in this video we will see how to disable cache in local environment for development purposes so let's get started so let's go ahead and access a content page and inspect the page as you can see now we can see the DOM elements and stuffs but nothing else so let's go ahead and get started with the process in order to disable the caching Drupal caching on a local environment you need to go to sites and copy the example.settings.local.php and move it to inside default folder now you'd have to rename it to settings.local.php And then open your settings.php scroll all the way down and you can see the database details at the very end right above to it you'll be seeing three lines of code and comment this so what we are here doing is basically to include our settings.local.php if it exists in your local site let's go back to the file that we just created and coming to the file so you'd have to comment out certain things in order to disable the cache in the local environment as the comment says here disable render cache comment this cache backend.null and then go ahead cache backend.memory then come here cache backend.null once again that's for a page cache and internal page cache and the next one is for dynamic page cache so once you have uncommented these four just save it and then go back to your directory open the file named development.services.oml under sites folder now this would be the default contents of a development.services.oml file under sites so we have to add a few entries in here in order for our new changes to be picked up so let's go ahead under the parameters there is already an existing parameter right next to it you gotta add your new stuff which is tweak did config this is to disable the tweak related caching in your local environment so that you don't have to clear your caches every time when you make changes to your tweak files and then debug is true and then one more option auto underscore reload is true then save it and go back to the website now flush the cache for once now you can see within the DOM elements there is this green indicators which explains where the file is from where the element is being rendered from for example it says file name suggestions and there are plenty of options you can see it here 
the ones with star propended to it are the suggested twig files that you can create and modify as much as you want in your custom theme. The one preceded with an X mark is the actual file that is being currently used. Now let's go ahead and inspect this page content. So it starts from here. The article starts from here and right above to it, you can see it begin output from the node.html.twig and you can see the file name suggestions here. So as it is very clear, the one with an X mark node.html twig is the twig file that is currently being used to render the content on this page. If you want to customize a twig file for this page, create a page in any one of these suggested formats with the star appended over here, like node.node-page.html.twig node kind of stuffs. So we have seen how to disable caches, Drupal cache in a local environment for development purpose. Thanks for watching guys.